This is a picture of a mirage. You can see desert sands, you can see the horizon, you can see the mountain, the sky, and the water, or the mirage. This is probably one you're more familiar with. This is in an urban setting. We have the concrete, and you can see the cars, you can see the sky, and right here we have the water, or the mirage, on the ground. That's what you see. Now, it's not really water, hence mirage. So let's talk about what's happening here. The ground, this happens when the ground is very hot and the sky, the air above it, is not overly hot because you need a temperature gradient. The ground increases the temperature of the air right by the ground. And then as you go up from the ground, the temperature of the air decreases, which is a rather unusual event. And it turns out that the um, turns out that the uh, index of refraction of air is temperature dependent. So what happens here is the light coming from the sky is bent as it changes temperature, as it goes through air that's changing temperature, it is actually bent such that it never runs into the ground and instead comes directly to your eyeball from the sky. So what you see when you're looking at a mirage is actually the sky on the ground. And here's where your brain is very good at it. It sees the sky on the ground. It says there's something blue on the ground. That must be class water. Your brain interprets it as water because it sees the sky on the ground, which doesn't make any sense. In addition to that, the air is not a consistent temperature, so it kind of changes temperature, which causes that to kind of shimmer like ripples on a pond, which it's not. It's just the sky, and your brain interpreting that as seeing the sky on the ground, which is one. That is what a mirage is. It's all based on the concept of refraction. 